This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Ivano Kotsev, he is the manager of Kubrat Pulev, the RBF mandatory, who's been forced to fight Anthony Joshua with the RBF calling for the mandatory. And for those of you who don't know, yes, all the other belts will be on the line as well. That's just how it is. Now, I believe that he is the same guy who said that Anthony Joshua is doing everything that he can to avoid Kubrat Pulev. I'm not too sure how wanting to fight Tyson Fury for Undisputed is avoiding Kubrat Pulev, but hey, they're trying to do everything they can to try and... Uh, save any kind of credibility that Kubrat Pulev has after a very, very well-documented history of trying to avoid Anthony Joshua on quite a few occasions. I'm not going to cover all that again. If you don't know about that situation, just go check out the last Joshua Pulev video or the one before that, or probably the one before that as well, where I discuss this kind of thing. So I, I don't be flogging a dead horse and going around the same thing. But either way, he's talking about a fight between Joshua and Pulev taking place outside of the Tottenham Hotspur Football Stadium. Now, the reason being is because, obviously, with boxing coming back, I did a video on the British Boxing Board of Control, new rules for boxing behind closed doors and everything that they're going to be doing going forward until lockdown is totally dispersed, okay? And if you, and if you don't know all the rules, that video will pop up at the end of this one, and I do suggest that you give it a watch. There's some pretty shocking details in that one. Anyway, um... So ideally with Joshua and Pulev, or Joshua versus anybody, um, Joshua versus Joe Blow from down the street, the pay-per-view revenue will always be enough to pay Joshua and the rest of the card and the, this and the other very, very good wages, okay? Along with the DAZN deal and that as well. And of course, TV rights for throughout the world because every single country or virtually every single country wants to show an Anthony Joshua fight. It doesn't matter who he fights. So there's always gonna be enough revenue, but they love an atmosphere. They love Joshua fighting in a stadium. Because not only is it good for people who are going to, going to be attending, but of course it looks great on TV, doesn't it? Especially at like Wembley or, or wherever it may be. But if they, got, if they are going to have to fight behind clo closed doors here in the UK, if, if they're not going to lift that sanction anytime soon, this fight still needs to go ahead. And they don't really want to have to do it in the matchroom garden. Okay, they don't have to do it in a car park somewhere. Okay, they want to have to do it in a place where you can at least put some people in the arena, depending on the country. Some countries are not really affected more than others. Okay, but anyway, um, so with the football season set to be resuming as well, um, uh, is it a case of that there's going to be a backlog of fixtures so they can't really use the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? Although I have heard talk that they are talking about doing all the all the matches, the remaining matches behind closed doors in neutral grounds. Again, I don't know that for a fact, we'll have to wait and find out. But in a stadium that you can't fill, is it worth it? Probably not, because it's gonna cost a lot of money to use a stadium that nobody's gonna be sitting in, all right? So either way, they're looking at other territories. Saudi Arabia have shown a bit of an interest, plus many other ones, but Croatia seems to be the front runner. And we'll get into the statement by Ivano Kotsev, Kubrat Pulev's manager. For our part, we are discussing Croatia. There is a unique Roman stadium, Pula Arena, and we are in active conversation. We like this variant because it's in Europe, in the middle of the continent. The area itself predisposes to an unprecedented event in our times. There must be a mutual consent. We want the conditions and the rules to be favorable for both parties. Hearn is talking about the Middle East and we have left him to communicate in that direction. Bulgaria, it cannot be because Joshua will not agree. He wanted to be home, but the force majeure led to a change. Kubrat was ready to fight Joshua in Joshua's backyard and even if his family were the judges. So there you have it. Now, before we get into the Croatia bit, um, as I said before, they are trying to restore any kind of uh, reputation that Kubrat Pulev has left after many, many times of ducking Anthony Joshua. And that's the truth of it. Again, there's all the receipts for it. And so they're trying to make out that it's Kubrat Pulev. He's willing to fight Joshua this way and anywhere. It doesn't matter. And it, it doesn't even matter if he's in Joshua's home back garden with Joshua's family as judges in there. Why is he saying that? Because he can't come up with his own content. Why do I say that? Because Anthony Joshua said the same thing about Andy Ruiz Jr. in the rematch, where he said, if necessary, I will go over to Mexico and Andy Ruiz Jr.'s uh, family can be the judges and the referee. I don't care. So that's why he's saying it. So at least come out with your own material, right? Anyway, as far as Croatia goes, I mean, the arena itself, 
of course is Roman, so it's very, very old, all right? But it looks really, really nice. I mean, the surroundings for it itself is, well, it looks like the Colosseum in Rome. It's very, very similar to that. That's what it looks like. But again, I don't know about the rules as far as the um, crowd participation. I don't know. All they're really going to be interested in is not only do we have to pay for an arena, but a country, a government is willing to pay us to go there. Obviously, the government here in the UK are not going to be giving Joshua and Eddie Hearn money. Of course not. They're going to want the money. They're going to want the tax and this, that and the other for here in the UK. So it's going to cost them money to put on an event here in the UK. But an outside one, such as Saudi, like Ruiz Jr. Part 2, um, that fight with uh, Joshua, they paid for them to go over there. So they didn't have to be paying for no arena, no stadium. In fact, they built the damn stadium for them. But... It's going to be a similar situation so as far as financial strings go this is what they could well do again i don't know what the crowd restrictions are in um croatia i have no idea but either way um it looks really good and if necessary why not i mean if the fight was going to happen here in the uk i know people will moan well oh, well josh well, he said he's going to be fighting here in the uk he's um he fought twice abroad last time in new york and then over in saudi arabia so he should be fighting here in the uk why is he abandoning us blah 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 you know how some people get well, you're not allowed to go anyway. So it makes no difference to you, really, does it? That's the truth of it. It, it doesn't matter if the fight's going to be in your street. You ain't allowed to go. These are the current new rules. So does it really matter whereabouts it is in the world? Nope, it doesn't matter. Not one iota where it takes place. It really doesn't. So anyway, that is what it is. Um, they are looking at the uh, Pula Arena in Croatia, which was built by the Romans way back when. So... Is it going to be an interesting fight? Maybe. I think a lot of people are overlooking Pulev. Arguably, he could be looking at Eddie Hearn and Joshua, potentially overlooking Pulev. Pulev is a dangerous opponent. He doesn't really show it with his um, ambition because he doesn't take on the big top dogs. He got his position and he's quite happy to sit on it. He's not willing to risk his position, which is why he's turned down quite a few different fights on that in the past and just been fighting absolute bin men. But anyway, that seems to be the front runner right now is Croatia. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.